spark from him. Uh, which was exciting to see, and we've been waiting for that. We've been waiting to kind of uh, to see him, you know, make the most of that opportunity. And uh, you know, we got some, we got some dynamic running backs, and uh, you know, I think I think it's starting to come along and getting back to where we need it to be. What are the it, challenges of a team like Utah? Oh, I mean, Utah's a great defense. I mean, they're very aggressive. Uh, you know, their guys. I mean, I, you know, they play as hard as anybody that we'll play against. Um, you know, they fly around to the football. Uh, it's a team that uh, you know they've gotten better each week that they that they've taken the field. Uh, uh, you know, they're gonna you know, they're gonna play a lot of man coverage. They're gonna play a lot of zone. They're gonna mix up. You know what they do. They got great pressure packages. Um, but you know, it's gonna be a physical battle. It's been a physical battle every year we've played them, and uh, uh, you know it's gonna be a tremendous matchup. How hard is it when? you prepare and script for a team in situations and you can't really account for the wind and then adjusting on the fly in a game like that. Well, I mean, yeah, that's, that's something that, uh, you know, obviously that's my job. It's, that's something that it's, it's, not, it's uh, not, the, not the easiest thing in the world, but you have to be able to do it. And, uh, you know, like I said, there's some things that I got I to gotta do a better job of, you know, in those elements and, uh, you know, with, the, with, the, with how the game's flowing. And so uh, uh, that's things I'm going to work on. Did that, did that take a while to just kind of settle in, in in the initial phases as the game went on? Did you get a better feel well, I mean, for that? Or? Yeah, I think, I think so. I mean, I think, I think as, you, as you're going through, uh, you know, we're going you know, to be able to go out there and execute our, our, our game plan, you know, regardless of the conditions. It's just that the, the opportunities and the timing of, of doing things, uh, you know, those are those are things that uh, uh, you know, we just got to continue, continue to experience and uh, and go make the most of them. We get those those opportunities to make those plays. Coach, does the improvement of the Sun Devil defense kind of help uh, with your confidence in calling the offense? Well, I mean, we we got a tremendous defense. We got some tremendous defensive coaches, tremendous players, and uh, yeah, it's, they're doing exactly what I what I expect them to do. And uh, um, you know, really proud of the growth that, that they're having. And uh, you know, I, and uh, you know, I think you're seeing that. You know, I mean, we're not just a, a you know great defense. We're not just a great offense. We got a chance to be a great football team. And you know, with what we're doing in special teams and all those areas, that's the thing that that uh, you know, as a football coach, you're pr you're proud to see your guys getting better each and every week. And uh, you know, it gives all of our players tremendous confidence. It gives it you know, uh, you know, whether whether we don't make it on a on a Third down, we have to punt. We got tremendous confidence in our punt. You know, if we if, if we're you know if we're on third down, you know we're defense. We're on we get a third down situation. We're expecting to get that ball back. Expecting to get a takeaway. And so uh, you know we it, it's it's a fun group to coach. Most fun I've ever had coaching in my life uh, has been this year with this with this group of guys because they do all care about each other. Uh, they all have each other's back, and it really doesn't matter how you know, how you win. But we you know we want to make sure that we're one point better at the end of the at the end of the game. Todd. Do you think uh, the Eagles went by the last week against Washington and before at Stanford's defense? Do you think the games against both defenses like those prepare you for this upcoming week? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, obviously it's a league of, of great defenses. You know, we played, we played a couple of them, you know, the last few weeks, and uh, um, we're playing another one this week. And so, uh, you know, you got to bring your A game every week. Uh, you know, for us, we got to continue to clean up the little things because when you go back and you watch a film, the mistakes that we're making are so, so, you know, so, so small, but you know, have the big ramifications uh, to, you know, maybe a play not working. And so, uh, uh, like I said, it's it's everybody, you know, everybody on the offense is, uh, you know, is working to, to improve myself um, and our players. And uh, uh, you know, I, I'm I'm really pleased with where we're at. I'm really pleased with the progression of what we've done. I, I'm, I love the fact we had the adversity we had last week. Uh, you know, I mean, especially after you're coming off a, a really nice performance against Stanford, you know, having a little bit of adversity. And, you know, our guys came to work at practice today, and, you know, we're, we're grinding to get better. Todd said that he was very happy with McCray's performance when he was mm -hmm. in there. Can you talk about just that and him moving forward into that position if he's gonna if he ends up starting? Yeah, uh, Stefan. You know, Stefan's a guy that uh, you know, very intelligent. You know, he's a hard worker. You know, uh, uh, you know knows you know knows probably every position up front on the offensive line. You know, he's 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 been our backup center. He's you know, obviously uh, backup guard. Um, you know, but he was he was ready for his opportunity, and uh, you know I know. Coach, had, you know, challenged him there. Uh, you know, just just like we do all of our guys. You know, you never know when that one snap, that one opportunity, you're going to jump in and, and help impact the team to win. And he made some big plays, some big blocks there in that in that fourth quarter. And um, you know, that that was that was fun to see. Mike, how does uh, Utah's defense compare to Washington's? And talk about the challenges they that Utah oh, yeah. will afford you. Yeah, I mean, well, they, they you know they, they love to get after the quarterback. They've done a great job of getting takeaways. Uh, you know, I think they're they're. Uh, first and second, those two defenses, and, and uh, impacting the quarterback in the country, and so uh, you know the, we, we've got to we got to make sure that we do a great job of protection. We've got a, a great job of coming off establishing the run game, um, and then uh, you know you're going to get some one-on-one matchups on the outside, and so it's it's going to make the most of those. Coach, aside from those first three games, Foster has struggled out of the backfield. Can you pinpoint a cause for that? Uh, I don't I don't think he struggled out of the backfield. Uh, you know he's he's been productive. Uh, you know he's been you know, DJ's been productive in a variety of ways. You know no no team has really taken him out of a game. 
um, you know how you know how he's getting his yards. You know might might be a little different. Uh, um, whether it's catching passes or whether it's uh, you know you know running the football, but uh, you know, he's had some good runs for us. Um, you know he's had some some obviously some really big catches for us. But uh, you know it's uh, you know we're going to take what the defense gives us. You know we obviously want to get some more explosive runs. Um, you know uh, you know for us and for the offense. But uh, you know I think he's done a good job this year and he's continuing to get better. Demario was was key in one of your big drives in that game. Can you just talk about what you saw from him there? Uh, you know, just I mean he's a very natural runner. You know patient. You know physical. I think I mean he was he when people were coming to tackle. He's making them tackle him. Uh, I love seeing his legs continue to churn, and you, I mean, he's a he's a, he's built pretty well for, uh, for for being able to endure some contact. And uh, but he has some great runs, and um, you know was put himself in a great position. Mike, what did you feel you and the coaches learned about?